As the year comes to an end, you really need to start thinking about your airline elite status. You have until December 31st in most major programs to get enough elite miles so that you qualify for the 2015 elite status year. Now, Delta makes it really interesting because they allow rollover. So any elite miles over a certain amount and before the next elite tier, you can roll over the next year. So the biggest difference here is that Delta Platinum's achieved at 75,000 elite qualifying miles and Diamond's at 125. So technically, if you came 1,000 short of uh, Diamond, you could roll over 49,000 elite medallion qualifying miles starting the year January 1. So that could really make it easier to requalify for Platinum the next year. Uh, you'd be almost you know, two thirds of the way there starting January 1st. So, but the question is, do you go for Diamond or uh, simply roll over a bunch of miles? Uh, TPG reader Ryan tweeted me that question. And this year, it's a lot different. In years past, I'd say, you know, unless you really want that Delta Lounge access, which you get as part of being Diamond, um, I would really much rather go for Platinum year to year. You still get the free uh, award changes. Platinum upgrades are still pretty good in general. But just this year, or Delta now gives global upgrades for diamonds. And I answered that question last week in our um, question on which uh, choice benefit is best for diamonds. And I really think that these global upgrades are very valuable and could really tip the favor for more people to achieve diamond. Um, that being said, make sure that you also can spend the correct amount to, uh, to uh, Delta's increasing the thresholds to re-qualify for Diamond on the Medallion Qualifying Dollar Program. Of course, you can exempt from that by spending $25,000 on a Delta Cobrated Amex card. But um, I really think if you can maximize those Delta Global Upgrades, that could really make sense to go for Diamond. Plus, Delta really uh, has kind of upped the ante for Diamonds. Um, certain Diamond members are now getting uh, transports in Mercedes and Porsches at the airport and I can definitely see the airlines giving more and more priority towards the top tier than towards middle or lower tiers. So it really depends on how much you're going to travel the next year but if you've got a lot of travel coming and you can get MQMs and spend uh, and, and have the Delta co-branded Amexes, I would probably say go big or go home and go for Diamond. Any other questions tweet us at the points guy make sure you like us on Facebook.